Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to take a look at the black spot on the sun as seen at Newmayer Station and other places around the world. I'm going to show you some video that I took from my location here in New Zealand, not too far from the Antarctic, that were taken within six minutes of some of the images that we're going to look at from Newmayer Station. I took this video from my home here in New Zealand. Uh, this video uh, was actually taken to um, demonstrate that uh, despite what some people are claiming on YouTube the moon is actually visible during the day when the sun is up. I mean anybody that's really taken a notice of, of the sky during uh, years gone by and would have looked up at the sky and, and seen the moon. Uh, but just like all sorts of claims on YouTube uh, there are videos saying that the moon should not be in the sky during the day. Well here it is and it's quite normal. Uh, nothing unusual about seeing the moon in the sky during the day. Um, but anyway, we're going to use this video to demonstrate something else. Um, we're going to look at those uh, pictures that um, apparently show a spot in front of the sun, as seen from Newmayer Station. And uh, we're going to compare uh, those images with uh, what I see on the sun when we take a closer look. Okay, so we're zooming out from the moon. This video was taken at um, 3.44 on the 24th of October. Now that's standard time I'm giving you. It was actually taken at 4.44 daylight saving time. But uh, in the interest of simplicity, um, I'm going with standard time, uh, 3.44, um, because we're going to be looking at some images from uh, Newmayer Station. Now looking at the sun, we can see the disk, we can see some sunspots there, but we don't see a big black spot in front of the sun. All we see is the sun. We've also got these um, spots down below, which you can see are, are moving around as, I'm, as I move the camera. I'm also moving the welding lens about now so that you can see that those spots actually move around as I move the welding lens. So that disproves that, uh, that they're anything unusual. They're just reflections within the lens and we're also seeing some lens flares in there as well. Here are the images from uh, Newmayer Station starting at 3.30 UTC on the 24th of October and the sun is uh, just about to rise. Now it's just broken the horizon at uh, 3.50 UTC and we can see that um, black disc in front of the sun again as the sun moves over. Now what we're actually seeing here, the, the black dot is the sun, okay? Um, if you were to remove all of the glare from the sun, what you would actually see is the size of the black dot. And all that's happening is that the optic chip in the camera is being overloaded by the intense light from the sun and it's producing a, a black dot instead of what we would otherwise see as the sun and the rest of it is, is just glare. Uh, you know if you if you hold a welding lens up to the sun you can actually see how small the, the, the disk of the sun really is when you look at it. Okay now the point of these pictures is that this, the, these images uh, were taken at Newmar Station at about the same time that I was taking the video on the 24th of October. So again, here is the sun that I filmed at 3.44 at exactly the same time as the images that we were seeing from Newmayer. This is the same sun that we're seeing, the very same sun, 150 million kilometres away, that was being filmed at Newmayer Station at the same time, at 3.40 to 3.50 um, UTC. This is the same time, same sun got one camera at Newmayer Station, you've got the camera that I'm using here filming the same sun at the same time. Now, where is the black disc in front of the sun? Here is the image that was filmed at Newmayer Station at uh, 350 UTC. In this picture we see a black spot in front of the sun. And here is my video that was filmed at 344 UTC of the, of the very same sun. No black spot in front of the sun. Okay, so as I said before, if there really was a black spot in front of the sun or Nibiru or Planet X or whatever you want to call it, then if it was visible from Newmayer Station at 340 
UTC or 350 UTC then I should be seeing it from my location in New Zealand also at 344 UTC. It's not there and as I say these black dots are caused by the sensor overloading on the camera creating a black spot. Again here is what the sun looks like with all its glare and when viewed through a, a welding lens which removes the glare you can actually see just how big or how small the disk of the sun really is when you remove all of the glare. Here is some more video that I took two days later on the 26th of October. This time I've got the uh, iris setting on the camera locked so that when I zoom away from the sun uh, we don't get that flaring effect that we saw in my earlier video. Uh, with the zoom right out you can see just how tiny the, the sun really is without all of the glare. That is how big the sun is when we look at it in the sky. It's only half a degree across. It's the same size as the moon which is why when we have a um, solar eclipse the, the moon blocks out the sun. Here's that same clip uh, one more time. No black disks, no Nibiru next to the sun. No, uh, no dual sun or second sun, all we see is the sun. So once again I hope that puts the black spot next to the sun claims to rest. Uh, we've seen uh, two different camera angles, one from New Zealand, one from New Mayer Station, both taken at um, within minutes of each other and uh, there's no black disc in front of the sun. Please feel welcome to check out my discussion page on Facebook Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.